Hey, greetings everybody. Hey, this is Mike. I'm coming to you from Samurai Geek Designs uh, over here at 2003 South Zarzamora Street, uh, San Antonio, Texas, 78207. We are in suite number 3104. Well, don't let it, you know, I, I gotta quit saying that. This is actually our, our we have a live-in workspace. So we live upstairs and I work downstairs. Most of the time I'm downstairs because most of the time I'm working, but... Um, Enough with that. Uh, this is the Bandai, yeah, the Bandai 172nd scale uh, Starship Enterprise uh, that was driven by Captain Malcolm Reynolds, I believe. Anyway, um, this is the Bandai X-Wing Fighter uh, 172nd scale. This is another piece that will be on display for the launch date of Gravity Damage Comics and Collectibles. The, um, I haven't talked to Bill, but I, I'm pretty sure he's pretty close to locking down a, a physical location. So, uh, pretty soon I will actually have an address. Uh, we are still working out the details, but, um, we're going to partner up with Bill a little bit, uh, as far as, uh, production wise, uh, cranking out some, some high, higher quality videos. Bill is a busy guy, but uh, Bill is also willing to kind of take me through the steps of actually getting uh, things going here a little bit more professionally and a little more um, instructive. Uh, one of the big problems is I only have one free hand because I'm holding my camera phone uh, with the other hand. And uh, one of the things that I've never been able to do on my channel is uh, show you how I do what I do on some of these things. Uh, and this one again, uh, I didn't have time to shoot any uh, progress videos, but there are some progress pictures on our Instagram and I'm going to have to put up some on our Facebook page, but uh, you can definitely find some uh, images of this guy here on our Instagram page. Let me see if I can get in there because I got a lot of work done inside that cockpit right there. And uh, this, this, this cockpit in particular is so clear, you can actually see everything. I mean, you lost some visibility in the, uh, in the Y-Wing, but uh, this one with the big open cockpit like that, I mean, you can still see right inside of there, so I had to be sure that my cockpit was uh, on point. Um, there you go, focus. Uh, just got an update on my phone, so now I can actually focus and... Uh, fix things on, on the fly as I'm working here. Um, so this one, of course, uh, Bandai uh, puts out such uh, top quality kits that all you have to do is put them together and uh, maybe put some paint on them and uh, then they look like that. But um, one of the big announcements that we're going to be having while I do some scrolling shots of uh, the Bandai Y-Wing here. Um, in addition to doing some new videos uh, and uh, some actual tutorials on, on how to put these uh, together, uh, we are going to probably be doing a monthly uh, workshop over at Bill's shop, uh, over at uh, Gravity Damage on Saturdays. Uh, we are going to be tackling a Bandai kit a month. So... Uh, Every Saturday out of the month, you will be able to hang out with, with me over at Gravity Damage Comics. Uh, and I will uh, go through step by step uh, on how, you know, I'm, I'm basically going to build a Bandai kit while you guys get to build with me. Uh, you get to see the paint techniques that I use. You get to see um, everything that I do uh, to a kit uh, to get it to look just like this one. Um, but, um, again, we will have more uh, as far as a concrete announcement pretty soon, but, uh, there will be a charge. Uh, Bill is going to go through all the trouble to, uh, to gather the model kits, the paints, the primers, everything that you need will be on hand, uh, to, to, to finish out a model. If you want to bring an airbrush with you, that is, uh, your prerogative, but, um, I am not going to teach you how to work an airbrush. I'm going to teach you how to work a set of brushes. Uh, uh, aside from using a spray can to get the base coat on there, everything that I've always done is always hand painted. So this is what I'm going to bestow 
upon you guys, but um, at least you know. I mean, you will be you'll be able to walk into uh, to to gravity damage, buy the kit, buy the paints, buy the supplies that you need, and uh, at the end of the month, if you are so inclined, if you want to come out and hang out with us, then you will uh, actually get to walk out with that finished kit, looking uh, very similar to this. I'm not going to do it for you. I will show you how to do it. And uh, it always takes time and practice. So uh, the first kit may not look great, but uh, I will do my best to show you uh, what I do. Uh, anyway, guys, so this is uh, just wrapping, it, wrapping this guy up. Um, this one is another great kit put out by Bandai. I got all the scorching in there uh, for the torpedo photon. What are those? Torpedo tubes, uh, the the uh, blasters were were also done with the uh, Tamiya weathering set. Uh, dots, everything else is uh, just kind of dotted on there with a paintbrush. I'm still thinking whether or not I need to go in there and put some silver uh, showing through uh, some of these chips, but it's uh, gonna show them. This is pr pretty much uh, in the can already. This is ready to go. These will be re will be uh, re readily available over at Gravity Damage. If you do not want to build a, a kit of your own, these kits will be on sale at Gravity Damage. Uh, the bases will be... Um, they're not stock bases. Uh, from what I understand, they're going to be uh, black uh, mirrored acrylic uh, with a foil logo on there. And uh, you'll also get my my company logo on there as well uh, but um, once we actually get some finished some of the finished bases in I'll, I'll be able to show you guys but uh, again this is the Bandai X-Wing fighter uh, this was done as Red 5 straight out of box no modifications no uh, well there's nothing added to this this is all straight out of box and Again, probably really one of the nicest X-Wing kits that I've ever worked on before. I, I never got to work on the Fine Molds version, but uh, I hear they're pretty comparable. Uh, Bandai does such an amazing job on, on getting these things to put out. The engineering inside is, is, is perfect. Um, usually the case with a lot of X-Wing models, uh, the Ravel included, uh, you, the, the S-foils or these wings always kind of opened up a little crooked so the uh, the main torso of the of the X-Wing fighter is always a little skewed if you didn't watch how you opened them up but uh, this one kind of really handles itself really well when, when you close them up and open them up but uh, that's uh, that's all on this one I act I'm actually going to be shooting a one more video today on this guy this is the Bandai A-Wing and I'm going to do a little uh, comparison with the uh, old classic AMT version of this kit. But you guys take care, have fun. Uh, this is our uh, Red 5 X-Wing Fighter from A New Hope. I hope you guys enjoy. I hope you guys uh, are building to your heart's content. <laughs> but uh, you guys take care, have fun. Peace and out.